everybody. Happy Monday to you. I'm Winona. I am the leader of Busted Knuckles, the adult recovery ministry over at Roadhouse Biker Church out in San Bernardino, California. Hope you guys had a wonderful Independence Day weekend. Um, a lot of things happening. I know with Roadhouse Biker Church, we had our reopening rededication. And actually tomorrow night, Tuesday, which is Tuesday the 7th of July, will be our first biker Bible study in about three months, four months. It's been a while. It's been a while. So I hope you guys can join us. It's Roadhouse Biker Church, 255 West Benedict Street in San Bernardino. All right. Well, hey, let's get started. I'd like to open us up in a word of prayer before we do our devotional. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for just all that you've blessed us with. With this country, Father God, we are so grateful for the independence that we have, Lord, that we have the freedom of choice to choose you, Father God. And so, Lord, I just pray for just uh, this nation, this community, these families that are watching this video, Lord. I just pray for just your blessings, your will be done in their lives, Father God. In your son's name, I pray this. Amen. Amen. Um, so, yeah, it was a great, great weekend. Lots of family, lots of friends, fellowship. It was such a blessing to my heart to be able to see folks I haven't seen for months. Um, we're still trying to practice some, uh, what would you say, restraint, um, you know, with, with the coronavirus. It's still around, and so we still need to be aware and conscious of it. And so um, we just have to use our heads about it. Amen. Amen. So let's get started. Uh, today, we are in the book of Second Timothy, and it is chapter two, and it's verses 20 to 21, or 22, 20 to 22, in Second Timothy 2. And it goes like this. In a large house, there are articles, not only of gold and silver, but also of wood and clay. Some are for special purposes and some for common use. Those who cleanse themselves from the latter will be instruments for special purposes made holy, useful to the master, and prepared to do any good work. Flee the evil desires of youth and pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace along with those who call on the Lord out of a pure heart. Amen. Amen. You know, and it talks about the different vessels, the gold and silver for good, for good use. You know, like that's like the best china and your silver you put out on the table for special occasions. But then you have your everyday stuff that you use every day, cleaning, cleaning products, you know, your regular bowls and pots and pans. And we are those regular bowls and pots and pans that were used every day by God. He is refining us and getting us ready for that special purpose. When that time comes, we will be that vessel of gold and silver. Amen? Amen. So let's see what our devotional says here. We're in the Life Recovery Devotional. We are on step seven. It's day six, and it is called Made of Gold. Our shortcomings and character defects can interfere with our ability to make positive contributions. We probably wish God would make our problems disappear in an instant. Then we think we could find our purpose in life or be useful once again. God wants our lives to be worthwhile, but we must remember that truly valuable things takes time to purify. Peter reminds us that our faith, reliance upon God for complete recovery, is being tested as fire tests and purifies gold. That is found in 1 Peter 1, 7. When gold is purified, it's melted by severe heat. In the molten state, the impurities rise to the surface where they can be skimmed off. The gold is allowed to cool again, and the process is repeated over and over until the gold is pure enough for its intended purpose. God will deal with us likewise, continually revealing and removing our shortcomings in an ongoing process. And you know, once that gold gets to that state where it's been purified and refined, it has like a mirror image so that when we look at the gold, we're hoping to see God reflect back because he's removed all of that stuff. Amen. God is moving us towards gold. The Apostle Paul told Timothy, in the wealthy, some, some homes have utensils 
that are made of gold and silver and some are made of wood and clay. The expensive utensils are used for special occasions and the cheap ones for everyday use. If you keep yourself pure, you will, you will be a special utensil for honorable use. Your life will be clean and you will be ready for the master to use you for every good work. And again, that's 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses 20 and 21. His goal is to, keep, uh, is to help us stay away from sin one day at a time as he continues to remove our shortcomings. This process, this lifelong process, will purify us and make us useful for God's highest purpose. So, you know, if you look at, again, in the verses that we read, verse 22, it says, Flee the evil desires of youth and pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace, along with those who call on the Lord out of a pure heart. You know, and it tells us to flee. And sometimes some people think that running away is an act of cowardness. But you know what? The wise know when to get out of these areas of temptation. These people realize that I need to physically remove myself from this, this temptation or I'm going to fall right back in. You know, and so... That takes more courage, I think, than to stay, to flee. Like it says, flee the evil desires of youth and pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace, along with those who call on the Lord out of a pure heart. Run, flee from those tempting situations that you've put yourself into. Be strong, be courageous, be bold, and get out of there. Amen. Because it, it takes more courage to know, courage and wisdom to know to get out of that situation. That it's 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 going to help. It's going to make you fall. It's going to make you fall. And so knowing when to run is as important in in our spiritual battle as knowing when to stay and fight. Okay. So it takes some wisdom, you know. So. If you're staying in the word, that word is going to be imprinted on your heart. And you know that where you're at, ah, this is wrong. You feel it in your gut. You know, you feel it in your heart that this, I shouldn't be here. And when that happens, walk on out the door. Walk on out the door. You're doing yourself a huge favor. Our recovery is a refining process that burns away the impurities. One step at a time. One day at a time. Amen. Amen. So, hey, you guys have a blessed day today. Keep everybody in prayer. Think, you know, keep yourself in prayer um, for that strength, that wisdom, that boldness to know. If you're in a tempting situation, hightail it on out of there. That takes courage. That takes courage. Amen. Hey, you guys have a great day today. And, hey, I do apologize. I missed yesterday's devotional. Um it was just a lazy day for me. And so I am hoping to make that up because it, it, it is a good one. It, it is a good one. It's on a, a humble heart. No, no, no. That's tomorrow. It's called Into the Open. And that was from yesterday. And so I'm hoping when I get home from work tonight to sit down and do that devotional for you because it, it, it really is a good one. I just, it was a Sunday for me. So hey, you guys have a great day today. I love you.